Hey, hey, it's Sarah. Are you ready for another exciting week? Today, we're going to be looking at the August 15th through the 21st, 2022 astrology and astrological developments, energy trends, and more for the week. This is, of course, my take on the energy and the astrology. And because of that, it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, no worries. Just pass it on by and I hope you do find what you're looking for. I am making short videos almost daily. So if you haven't, why not consider subscribing? There's something new on the channel just about every day. So what can we expect for this upcoming week? For the most part, this is a great week to finish off projects or dive into new projects, tap into innovative thinking because we're still dealing with the energy of uh, the full moon in Aquarius, and also get out there and have some fun in nature if possible. You may feel a bit restless and unfocused though this week because there is a general energy shift and you may feel that building, and that may translate into being irritable, feeling unfocused like I said, and generally restless. You may feel dramatically pushed to finish up projects that you've put off maybe even for years or to start big projects such as, I don't know, remodeling your house or fixing your garage or doing something that is not going to be accomplished this week. That's the type of energy we're dealing with, that drive, that almost obsession to get things done quickly because, question mark, question mark. But yeah, that's just the shifting energy and there's really no dire cause for this other than Mercury retrograde is coming and we're about to move into the pre-shadow of it. And that is causing a lot of this. Plus there's some other movements too. This may leave us feeling rather anxious, agitated, pressured, feeling like we must fulfill all our commitments, all our responsibilities, take on more stuff and get everything ready by midnight tomorrow. But no, that's not the case. That's just the shifting energy. Give yourself plenty of time to rest, step back, take a breath and don't overcommit. So be proactive with this energy. Use it to cross off things on your to-do list that you can manage. Don't overcommit and don't obsess over it. I will put the important alignments up on a slide if you want to check that out and add that to your diary or journal. We can expect some unexpected events this week and they're likely to reverberate with us in a way that probably would be not something we would expect. So in other words, you're likely to see something on television is going to impact you, not directly but it's going to have an emotional impact on you, much more than you even imagined. If you're spending too much time on Facebook or other social media, this is the time to release that. This is the time to maybe put a timer on or, or you know, take a day off from social media. Because as this energy builds, people become a little bit more, I don't want to use the word frantic, but yeah. And then they start imagining things or they start blowing things out of proportion. So I think that's the kind of energy we're going to be looking at. You're going to feel restless. You're going to feel like, you know, you must fill up your to-do list and get everything done immediately because of some impending event. But actually that's not what's happening. It's just the alignment is making people restless. Don't buy into any of that. This is actually the best time though to work on your own personal responsibilities and tend to your own garden, so to speak, rather than maybe getting involved in some of the social upheaval. Really work on your own stuff this week week. And next week on the 22nd, I believe, we begin Virgo season. And that's going to change the energy dramatically too. During this time, you'll probably be second guessing yourself and probably have a much more difficult time making a decision. So obviously take care of all important business and make those important decisions this week before that energy comes into play. Oh, and by the way, Virgo season lasts until September the 22nd. On the 18th, a raise or a new business project could fall in your lap really unexpectedly. Something you didn't even, you know, ask for suddenly, voila, there it is. You may struggle with friends or frenemies this week shouting over your success. And it's just because they're jealous. It's, um, it's one of those things. It will pass. And if it doesn't, perhaps you need to think about, uh, spending less time with these people. We are also moving into the shadow of the pre-Mercury retrograde, the third Mercury retrograde of four this year. Generally, we feel the energy weeks before the alignment and that's what we're about to see this week too. And this is Mercury retrograde in Libra, which will begin on September the 10th at 3.30 a.m. Universal Time. This is going to be an interesting Mercury retrograde because it is happening in Libra. 
So on the same day, Mars moves into Gemini until March the 25th of 2023. This move can leave us feeling scattered and unfocused on top of everything else going on. The positive to this alignment is we can learn more about communication, how we communicate with others, what we can do to improve our own communication skills, and also we are more resourceful and clever during this time. We're even more eloquent with our words, so this is a great time to write those speeches, work on reaching out to maybe network with some colleagues that you've kind of put off or anything like that. Mars usually spends about two months in a sign, but this time around it transits Gemini for over seven months. And this is due to an upcoming retrograde Mars cycle. Mars is retrograde from October the 30th, 2022, and we'll talk about that, of course, in October, to January the 12th of 2023. And it spends its entire retrograde cycle in the sign of Gemini. So before the retrograde begins, which is in October, we really need to take advantage of this energy and write, record, create, and do anything in that type of vein. Believe in your skills and get out there and network. Talk to people. Tell people about your projects. Show people your art. Play that music for them and really connect. Put yourself out there and show the world what you're capable of. So this is going to be an interesting week. Like I say, something probably unexpected in the news will probably reverberate with you a lot more than you expected. This isn't the best time to be on Facebook or any type of social media where people vent because the energy building towards the Mercury retrograde and the Mars moving will have people feeling restless and looking for doom and gloom. So we don't need that in our lives. So maybe pull back from social media a little bit this week. Stay positive and know that this too shall pass and really it's not a bad week. It's just the energy is changing and that's all. But this is the great time, like I say, to finish up those projects, be prepared for a surprise that could be a job offer. It could be a promotion or it could be a raise. So be ready to accept that and claim that and have a great week. <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, liking, and sharing the videos. I really appreciate it. Let's give a big thank you to the patrons that make all of this possible. If you like this type of content, why not consider joining the Serenity community here or becoming a patron? I'll see you for the next video. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.